where he put that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a forward button. Like I heard someone <laughs> might <laughs> sample this, so maybe I'll leave. Yeah, wouldn't that mess up our sponges? Um, I think we could put it in with the freeid. What? Which one is think? that? That's the one on the mm -hmm. right side. Okay. Want to combine, Dave? But we couldn't put both of the corals in the same. Yeah, we'd box. have to take like a snip and and suction the other one. other one. Could we, can't really sit down anywhere, there's no, too many. No, yeah, and I'm afraid many. of damaging some of these yeah. other corals. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry, sorry, Steve. We did our best. We'll look again, Steve. It's fine, he's sleeping now. <laughs> we don't have to tell him. We'll never know. Yeah, that too. Oh, well, there's one, there's more. It's true. Didn't we see like six or seven last? Oh yeah, last we yeah, like saw was seven on our watch at least. Megan was keeping count. Yes. Yeah. Once we reached ten, we were gonna collect the next one. It's a lot of spirals on that. It is. It's like it's so mesmerizing. mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah. It's like a screensaver. Exactly. All right, Emil, do we want to continue on towards waypoint four? Or, or do maybe you bypass it. Let's see where five is. Oh, boy. Five is quite far from four. Oh, there it is. Due north. Due north. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go due north. Great wall. Yeah, yeah, that was super cool. Bridge nav. Can we make a 20 meter move north? Looks like it's going to be a pretty steep climb. Yeah, it might be. We might just keep doing this terracing thing, mm. or yeah, I don't know. There's a really big bamboo coral <laughs> over there. This one's good too. Let's take a look. And for everyone tuning in, I do see that channel one shows that the feed is down. Um, you're going to have to unfortunately watch it on quad. Uh, it's a shore problem. It's coming through here on the ship. So oh, zoom there, Dave. Um, hopefully, it's resolved soon. Are you talking about that bamboo in the distance? You're not on SPL. Yeah, no, it's it's a big one. 
whole bunch. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll stay at the wall. <laughs> well, that's where we're headed. North. <laughs> that's north. Okay, great. Yep. This wall is funky shape. Yep. It's not floating thing. Oh. Uh -huh. The Too fast. Yeah, I didn't get a good look at it. It could have been a Tina 4. Oh yeah, that big bamboo might be mostly dead on top. Yeah, it looks like maybe the top of it might still have some polyps, but the mm. bottom looks denuded. Preyed upon. Yeah. yeah. It's very tall we'll get, though. Get yeah. a zoom there, Dave, maybe. Can't really get any closer. Yeah, star oh, falling. Oh. <laughs> Looks like it's skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm out, guys. Let's see. It's a long way down. Yeah, so this one is branching internodally. Some of them really close to the nodes. Very long internodes. Oh, and a cucumber Bridge in the now. back. Can we make another 20 meter move north? Thanks. Yep. That might have been an old octopus what? Uh, egg. Cucumber oh. in the background? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Octopus. We haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah, sometimes. We saw a Dumbo real yeah, fast. The Dumbo but octopuses will lay their eggs in the branches of corals. Uh, why? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> 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 we just Safer assumed because because that's the what they chose to everything. do. I'd Safer from predation? Yeah. Well, a lot of octopuses brood their eggs, so they'll stay with their eggs until they're hatched and ready to go out into the world. Um, but Dumbo octopuses don't do that. Do Dumbo octopus, um, you know how like normal octopus will, when they brood and then afterwards they pass away, do Dumbo octopus do the same thing since they don't have to brood with them? 
I yeah, I don't think they die after their first um, clutch. So yeah, I think they can have multiple clutches. Huh. But don't quote me on that. I don't know that for sure. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good on this coral. All right. Come on, Dave. It's a big one. It's a big one, that's for sure. For everyone tuning in and commenting that we don't have satellite feed on channel one, uh, we are aware. And I have reported the problem. It is a shore side thing, so you kind of have to just wait until <laughs> they fix it. Um, but you can watch the Herc feed um, on the quad view. I know it's smaller, but you can still watch it. Well, that's a fun little craggy Craig. Goes right in there. Bridge now. Can we make a 20 meter move north? So if we have some early risers on the east coast, <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> we are exploring a, a very steep wall. Uh, we've come across on this unnamed seamount, what we are referring to as Seamount C for this expedition. It, it was a dive target in the plan for the exhibition. It's turned out to be a good one. Yeah. Um, so we're ascending the southwest side of the seamount. Keeping an eye out for rocks that we could sample. Um, don't have too many of those on this. What about the base dive. of that bamboo? Is that a loose rock? Yeah, what's that rock? We're not gonna mm. <laughs> try to snatch it from around the bamboo. Let's just take the whole wall. There's a lot of cool stuff on it. <laughs> I don't know if the wall will fit on the ship. I don't know if the port will let us back in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that rock is loose, though. Mm. Hard to tell, but also I feel like if we tried, we might <laughs> disrupt the coral. Yeah, and this one's a really big one. It's probably yeah. really old. Let's leave it alone. Old timer. So this is the same kind that we were just looking at that yep. was denuded at the base, but this one's doing a little bit better. They're both probably about the same age. This also has some stuff on it. Yep, there's lots of stuff. I see like, some anemones. Wanna zoom in on the anem anemones? Yeah, let's go for a zoom right. on that. They're cute when they're small. Yeah. <laughs> so these That's are so anemones are amphianthus. Oh, they're closing. They're closing. They felt our thrusters. They're like, oh my goodness. No. <laughs> One more. We've seen so many of these little predatory jellies, too. Yeah, look at them. You know, the cool thing is like... Do they feed on the polyps? Yeah, they feed on the polyps. Hmm. 
Hmm. And we hadn't seen them until like a couple years ago. And now we see them all over the place, which is wild. Wonder where they came from. <laughs> I mean, they're probably always there. Which they're is just so small. Yeah, missed them. All right, come back wide. What's that? The thing. <laughs> what what thing? Oh. Want to go back in? I was going to say this thing. <laughs> no, it's just where the branches get a little crazy. Oh, OK. Thanks, Data Lab. Thanks. I'm on it. Our fans are on it. <laughs> Bridge, Nev. Can we make another 20 meter move north? Many bamboos. It's bamboo central. I feel like I'm like wanting a fish or something to swim by. <laughs> that would be nice. You know, sometimes fish really like these little like crags and crevices. So I'm surprised we're not seeing them hanging out in this area. Especially with the nice sand flats close by, some fish will use those as foraging areas, but the rocks are nice and protective. We usually see cuskeels and things like that hanging out in these sort of sheltered areas. So most of these are just ba are bamboos? Yeah, th like these are mostly saying? all bamboo, but they're or at least four or five different kinds. Wow. Yeah. So we have got nodally branching bamboos, internodally branching bamboos, and unbranched bamboo. And at least two kinds of nodally branching bamboos. I saw some jasoniasis and some achinella. And then we also have the echinomyasis. Uh, and then we got this sort of long bones one. Uh, that we were looking at. So that one is going all sorts of crazy directions. There's probably some more. I, I'd have to like think about it. And <laughs> how far? Overwhelmed right now. <laughs> it's so many. Like how far? How shallow can bamboo coral grow? Um, bam some bamboo corals grow in shallow water where you can see them diving. Wow. Yeah. So they go from the shallow shallow water all the way to the deepest ocean. That's cool. Mm -hmm. They've got quite the range. Yeah. Other corals, like the Primnoa corals, are exclusively deep sea.
is kind of awesome how big this feature is. Yep. Goes on and on. It's a nice artist shot. Yeah. Yeah, it really captures the scale. That'll be nice. We'll give the uh, zero to four something to look at. <laughs> well, yeah, we I'm just curious following to this find up? out where, how far this goes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, aren't we just following it now? Like, we basically, are. it's going in the same direction that we are yeah. trying to go to. We're yep. going like right along the wall. It's perfect. How many samples do you have so far? Not many. Two, four, six, eight samples. Two of them water samples. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, you might have a new species of sponge in there. We'll see. Yeah. Fingers crossed. If only it didn't take so long to know. Yeah. How are we supposed to keep the sponge? How, what, what do you mean? Like... How do you preserve it? Yeah, how do we preserve it? Just in ethanol. So what do you... So what do you put in ethanol that dissolves it? Like, what is that animal? Because sometimes oh, you say the, you need Oh, the jellies. Okay. Yeah, any, any jelly needs to get preserved in formalin. Yeah, for the sponges, you actually will dissolve the tissue with bleach just to leave behind the spicules and the skeleton so you can see them better. Mm. It's like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge now. I guess we're seeing the base of it there in the Argus. Can we make another 20-meter oh, yeah. move north? It seems a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is big, but it seemed... It might have been... Bigger on at one side, side yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's still really cool. Can we do a zoom into that cluster of rocks at the top there? Up here? Yeah. I think I spotted a sure. bathypathies. You get a zoom, Dave? Yeah, uh, bathypathies. And a militaris. Yep. Ramillagorgia militaris with some zoanthids on it, and then there's an old bamboo skeleton that's been colonized by what looks like might be stoloniferous octocorals. Hmm. 
Now let's take a look at those. Oh yeah, that, that does look like octocoral. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the stoloniferans, they don't make their own skeleton, they'll just use other substrates. I feel like so that's cheating. Col yeah, they'll <laughs> colonize <laughs> other coral skeletons, but they don't outcompete um, other corals for the use of their skeleton. They usually colonize after the fact. I've seen them growing on sponges or on rocks. Very nice looking bath patties. All right, thank you for the zoom. All right. Looks like we're gonna fall off the. Fall off the wall. Yep. Goodbye, wall. We did get a lot of good view of the wall. Yeah. We got plenty. <laughs> That's super cool. <laughs> Any rocks before we go away? See anything that might be loose? Uh, None of this really looks loose to this me. This looks very steep. Yeah. I'm anything. just thinking up along the top. Maybe. But yeah. they're very sedimented, so. Yeah. yeah. And uh, probably not angular at this point. No. <laughs> now. What if we drop down to the base of it? I guess... Uh, Can we make a 20 meter move north? Thanks. The shrimp. Yeah. Someone's asking, how would you rate this dive? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a hard question though, because every dive is different. Yeah. Like the shallow water dive we did the other day was super cool. We would never ever do this. But then like these cliffs are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good one. I think it rings up there is as a solid dive. Yeah, like there's only, I like I feel like you can't give them a number. You can just say like Yeah. This one we saw a lot, this one we didn't. <laughs> Yeah, you can be like, oh, well, that one was a little disappointing. We didn't find the things that we were expecting to see, or we didn't collect the samples we wanted to collect. Um, that's usually how I rate Yeah, dives. I wouldn't give it a number. Yeah, I wouldn't give it a number. I mean, unless it's, like, really freaking fantastic, and you're like, well, obviously yeah. that's an 11. <laughs> <laughs> the best dive of my life. I would say anything where we're not on blue water for most of our <laughs> walking is like ranks pretty high. That's true. It looks like the wall is just sort of done. Yeah. Yep. So it's tapering off. Petering out. Huh. Sorry, next watch. <laughs> I think it was at least 100 meters tall at one point. You think? We, we extended fairly rapidly when we came across it. Yeah. And pulled back. Might be easier to look for rocks up here. But yeah, they're all probably solid. Oh, that's solid. weird. Used. Look at that line. It's very straight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what? weird. You want to drop down to it? Like a sand wall yep. or something. All right. Coming down. 
Like, look at it on Argus. It's such a straight line. Yeah. Every time I see something weird, I always think of the um, X Files theme song. <laughs> <laughs> like the dirner, 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 dirner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ooh, yeah, weird. Yeah, his tracks of the sand <laughs> are straight. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Even those are straight. Like, yeah, those are very straight. Hi. Who's been here? It literally <laughs> says hi. <laughs> 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 yeah, that That's doesn't weird. look natural. I don't know. <laughs> this aliens. is creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh, aliens. <laughs> it's the people of Atlantis. <laughs> They're ready to make contact. <laughs> Except with that one line is so long. <laughs> kind of scared to see what's at the end of it. <laughs> A giant sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> A really junky one. Well, there have been dredges on sea mounds, so who's to say they're Yeah. They could have been dredged. It's just a very straight line. Yeah. Could it just be a rock that rolled down a hill? It could be that too. Yeah. But, I don't know. It's a really straight line. What kind of rock would roll down a hill like that? Well, maybe it slid down. Mm -hmm. Didn't we see a really straight line in one of our other dives yeah. too? Yeah. Yep. Push. Shrimp. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Go from pillowy cliff to the, like a uh, sheet flow. Yeah. I wonder if you can break it. It looks really breakable. It's it probably not. It's probably not breakable. But it looks like it. it looks like um like what's it called? All shale. There's a rock. It does look like yeah. shale. Or a slate. Yeah. Ooh. There's a rock. Major. Very rock. sedimented. <laughs> oh wait. The oh. big one. Big one. What's the happening on one. this side? Oh boy, we oh. got oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> Don't fall off, you guys. <laughs> Careful. What's the orientation of this one? Look at this I'm one. Facing uh, northwest. Oh my oh. god. Let's follow it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good direction. All right. That's sort of where we wanted to go anyway. Yeah. What in the world? This came out of nowhere, too. Such wow. a dynamic landscape. It's very different yes. than the other one. Yeah. yeah. This Jagged. looks like the Grand Canyon now. Yeah, this yeah. one's way more <laughs> lines. Grand Canyon-y. Yeah. Jeez. Uh. I, mean, I thought we were coming down to kind of like it's just a boring sediment. I slope. know. I was ready for like the last 30 minutes to be just like some just sand. sand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These, these are the things you don't resolve <laughs> in the multi-beam. No, no, not at all, apparently. Not a, not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's chop a target here and just like a more, um, I guess, I don't think. What's the layered, a layered wall face? Or sheet flow? I, I don't yeah, know the, how you describe these, this. These look almost so perfect. It's shocking that it could be volcanic yeah, yeah I don't, i've never seen a feature like this yeah is it volcanic? You know? like it definitely is though right? like the layers like i the i would think i don't know this i don't know some of this stuff doesn't really look like ferromanganese crust either like it looks too brown do you want to zoom yeah maybe could we you zoom yeah, in? just take a look like this looks kind of like mud Mon or something yeah like sedimentary yeah i don't think this is it's very layered very how would it get here could this be an avalanche by, uh, just marine snow over millions of years. Yeah, yeah but it's so brown. Yeah. Fossilized. Now this was this is a gear. The layers are perfect. Ascendant. Yeah. This is very strange. Yeah, this is super cool. 
Yeah, this, like, this black stuff, this is ferromanganese crust, but this brown stuff, right? that's that's not. I think it's a little too shallow to be, I mean, too deep to be carbonate, but I'm not sure. Um, I think it could be. We're at, well, mm. maybe not. Maybe it is too deep. Yeah, it seems too deep. Uh, that's wild. It is. Christ of Gorgia likes it. <laughs> yeah. If we could get a sample, I'll take it home and throw some acid on it and see what happens. <laughs> well, if it is mud, it might break off. Yeah, like those uh, Come on, those, those mud rocks that we collected. Yeah, those Reese's. <laughs> the Reese's, Reese's rocks. rocks. But like, yeah. how do these lines Trader all Joe's form? Rocks. Like, how do these like different layers get like this? So, so like, look at it. Yeah. I mean, this is like, these like layers is what you would expect for sedimentary rocks. But, you know, I have seen layers in volcanic rocks before, but not like this. I don't know, yeah. it could be like fractures in the rocks, but it's just so like, the lines are just so perfect. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> this, this is trippy. <laughs> yeah. This I almost looks like man-made. In my geologi yeah, in my geological opinion, this is actually an ancient temple <laughs> from the people of Atlantis. <laughs> this is strange. What? That's so There's cool. Like, look at that Argus view too. I know. Look at Argus. And a cucumber. And a cucumber. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Wow. I'm getting nervous. Like, what? What are we gonna <laughs> <What> see? <laughs> Yeah, first the straight lines, and then the... <laughs> I know. Uh, for all the people watching out there, like you don't hear us, <laughs> we've been abducted. <laughs> 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 We're going to do a watch change, and they're going to be like, oh no, <laughs> they're abducted. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh. French now. I'm gonna make a 20 meter move, three, two, zero. Someone's wondering if it could be like various ash layers. Oh, that's a good point. But like, I it would have to have been above. Yeah, ash is like, that's something that I would expect more on land. I don't really think, because it has to do with like air versus sea travel. I don't know if you would get ash the way mm. you do on land, the way you do in the sea. I mean, if it was something that like was above the be, sea level yeah, and then like broke area. off and slid down, or that's a good point. It just subsided. Over, yeah. I, I mean, we're talking Cretaceous seamounts here. We need Rob Picolny to reconstruct where the seamount started. I like this. Shot. Look at these layers. It's yeah. Yeah. Like this is so. Crazy. They're so perfect. Like they're, they're almost real even straight space lines too. That's what's crazy like, to me. It's yeah, the straightness. Like this right here is like almost evenly spaced between the Like it the looks layers. like a cake. Oh, like that's so scary. <laughs> it could Whoa. probably break off break some of off that like like crust. <laughs> I feel like we just need to take a sample because it's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a piece of it down there. Look, look at it. Uh, a little extended yeah. Like a leash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. This is definitely the highlight of the dive. Yeah, yeah this is such a cool feature. Geologically, yeah, it's a question. Like the other cliff was cool. This one's like, I'm so confused. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so and then steep. These, yeah, and then these layers slope down, but above they're really straight out. Mm -hmm. Why? Sure. Is that just sediment buildup that makes it look sloped? Um, I think these layers might actually be down sloping like this a little bit. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah, see? Yeah, what it looks like. It's the and then on these the come more like that out. So that's why you don't get as much sediment buildup over here, but there's a lot. And then also these layers come out further, which is why more sediment can accumulate on them than these layers. 
But I also wonder why some of the layers are so much wider than the other ones. Like some are super thin and then some are pretty large. Yeah. Because they're not that far away from each other. So whatever erosion's happening, you would expect it to somewhat affect both. Unless this is a different, more resistant rock than this is underneath it. Yeah. But still, like, there's ferromanganese crust on it. I don't know. Should yeah. we try scratching the brown stuff? Yeah. Um, if that's possible. I just wonder if we could grab one of these fragments here. We are, are we stretched out. Are attempting a sample? Yeah. Are, we, are, are we able to get uh, Argus a little closer? Or yeah, is Argus it? is on its way. Oh, okay. That might be attached. Can we like try and break off a piece? Because we might be able to break off a piece. Uh, okay. What am I? Where? Uh, anywhere I that you can reach. Let me try and sit down. There's a. F it looks like a broken piece right there. Oh, on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just perched there, saying, "Take me." <laughs> Did you see that one? Uh, it's just on the top of your view there? Nope. Yeah, they're kind of sitting there. This one? Yeah. Nope. I can look up. It's about 20 centimeters wide. Sorry, which one? This yep, one? that one. That's the one. Can we zoom in, Dave? I'm just like so curious when you guys bring it back, like what it would do. Uh, what do you want it to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want free. it to do? That's the best of problem. I don't know. So if you wanted to sing and dance, I wanted to do unlikely. something. <laughs> it's a very flat piece. Oh, wow. It looks fragile. Starboard. Uh, yes. Starboard. If you can angle it, you can put it. Is it too tall for one of the smaller boxes? Like A. Can we turn it to the other side, like completely around? Oh, I can't see. I kind of wonder. That is weird. Brown I want to like shredded. break this in half and see what's on the inside. Let's do it. Yeah. So it's brown on top too. I'm just so confused. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's put it in starboard F. Oh, okay. Oh, brittle star. Bonus. <laughs> Subsample. <laughs> um, sample. Oh. Bring up the camera. Ready? Yep. Coming out. So, are those all open? Um, we can put it in F. It seems a little wide. Unless you think it could fit in A. Yeah, it should be able to fit okay. in A. Pretty cool zoom on, if you could zoom on Argus, get, get the sample. Might be a little big for A, we'll see. Yeah. Huh? Oh, 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 broke. Yep, fragile indeed. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's all right. The dirt clawed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good in job. There. Nice. That was 72? Yes. All 72. Right. I know that there were two pieces there. Two 
You may have more too, because I probably broke when it hit the Can I reset your DVL? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh man, it's raining outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man. man. I am not surprised. <laughs> it's raining all day. And I looked at the satellite before we came up. It looked like there were several squalls heading our way. Tonight? Yeah, throughout the night. Uh -huh. Just sucks, you know. End of our watch, we see this really weird, cool rock, and then I have to leave, and it's raining outside. Before we put the manip away, on, could yeah. we try scratching some oh, of the brown uh, stuff? Well. Yeah, I agree. Scratching. Yeah, just see how soft that brown rock is. Give it a good punch. <laughs> yeah. It's like that mud rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it seems it's really, off. really it's breaking. soft. Yeah. Wow. Sediment. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Okay. This huh. is strange. Yeah. <laughs> Because we kind of saw something similar um, at those other seamounts. Did we? Yeah, and on, one, on 134. Mm -hmm. oh. We were able to just break off like a piece of. 135. Rock. 135, sorry. Huh. Chautauqua. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Wild. All right, we know it's soft. It's just weird because this one is not that far from like the other rock cliff we were at and that was like it was completely just dramatically different. different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because of how easily this is breaking, I'm assuming this is sediment and that the before, yeah, that looked pillowy. Yeah. So, huh. The ocean is weird. It is. So weird. It's going to be a little cloudy, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where is everyone? I was like, oh my god, they're playing an April Fool's joke on us. But then I realized it's not April Fool's. <laughs> Not yet. Getting there. That's that a good mean, idea, though. That's a mean joke. It just <laughs> does not come. I think I <laughs> think that's a joke we should play on someone. We all hide from one person on the ship. <laughs> that would be so creepy. Can you imagine just like, walking around not seeing anybody? anybody? I don't think I can handle that. Yeah, we all pack into the crane hold or something. <laughs> Where there's no cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've said it enough that if it happens, it's going to happen to <laughs> me. Crab? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a crab. Is that something on them? Get a zoom, Dave? What are yeah. you doing? Ah! <laughs> Bonk. It's running. Run it's it got away. something on him. <laughs> yeah, so it's one of those hermit crabs with the zoanthid backpack. It's got a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a backpack. This one looks super cool. Yeah, this one's got a lot of polyps going on. The other one we saw only had four. Yeah. It's wearing a backpack. And all the polyps are kind of pulled in, probably because he jumped off the cliff like that. Like, all right, oh, going. This one's Oops. Bone, bone dust. I'm in the cliff. Hey. Come on, Dave. Just look at that Thanks. wall. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, I hit, I hit a... Uh, What 
We're on a big cliff. Hello, hello. All right, for everyone listening, we're about to do a watch change. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, the 12 to 4 watch is about to hop on.
So cool. Raj. Let's do it. Looks like it. Wait, where's the original? Oh, there's the Aridogorgia. And there's another loose rock of this strange. I feel like they got a rock just as we were coming on watch. They did, and it broke apart. It was amazing to watch. Are we going to try to see down the oh, uh, yeah. spiral? Oh, absolutely. That is <laughs> That's the game. That, that is, is the game. Do. There is no other game. It's the only game in town. All right, everybody, are we ready for our introductions? Yes, please. Hello, world. This is Brandy Jones from Houston, Texas. I am serving as the Science Communication Fellow today. I look forward to seeing your questions so that we can ask for our phenomenal team. And thank you for joining the 12 to 4 watch. Passing it over to the science team. Good, very, very early morning. <laughs> I'm actually not awake enough for this, but we shall get there. I'm actually much more <laughs> fixated on the sweet shots than the down the spiral shot right now. Ooh, yes, we're this looking a at a very, shot. very pretty Iridogorgia right now on this mm. uh, rock face. Potentially turbidites. Ter I can't even talk right now. Uh, back on to introductions. My name is Amber Saravalo, sitting the science seat. I'm from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and I study the volcanic rocks in this area to see how old they are. And now passing it off to our watch lead. Hi, everybody. Good, good evening, good morning, whatever, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> my name is Megan Lubetkin, and I am the watch lead for the 12 to 4. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Mary Dury and I am the data logger for 12 to 4. Hi, I'm Mia Beckler. Uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here. Hey. Hey. hey, world. Uh, and a good day to all of you. I'm Gabby Inglis. I am sitting in the Herxy right now. Um, and yeah. And I really, I'm going to try and get a view right down the center of the spiral here. Um, shalom, I am Kylie. I'm doing a gauge check. I'm, a, um, I'm sitting in the Argus seat. Hello, this is Ryan Leung. Um, I am a video engineer and I'm from New York. Almost there. Welcome, Finland. Thank you for joining us. There it There's is. There's the shot. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. That is pretty. Oh, Aww. wow. It's really nice in the bubble, too. Yeah. This is cool. That's the dream right there. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a dream boat. It is. OK, what is our plan for this watch? Now. Yeah, well, right now um, we are, let's see, where are we? So, yeah, maybe we could do a little overview on the map and we could share that out to the world as well. Yeah. Um, Ryan, are we, is Hypoc, is Hypoc, is Hypoc live? One sec, one sec. Do we have somebody who runs the uh, Sexton right now? Okay. I am doing it yeah. as we speak. Oh, you are? Okay, yeah. excellent. Uh, oh, that's and a really And I'm getting great really great, great, great shots. I love that. Oh. Um, yes. Kylie, can you yes, pull here. up the sexton so I can yeah. fly by it? <clears throat> yeah. Since we're we're going to listen to Nia talk about the plan, and I can probably get another sh line up a shot. It's really perfect oh, right awesome. now. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. You yeah. can do a little better framing this way. <laughs> Such drama. Drama. Oh, wow.
Uh, are we ready for a tour here? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So currently we are right here where our purple boat is. The vehicles are just behind. Uh, we are approaching waypoint four in our dive. Uh, we've been diving since 1 p.m. earlier today. Uh, that took me a really long time to figure out in my brain. Um, and we're currently at close to 2,272 meter water depth, and we are about 1,300 meters into our dive track, which is a total of about three and a half kilometers. So we're a little bit less than halfway through our dive track here. Oh, um, yeah. I'll zoom out and get a little bit more of an establishment why does, here. Why does it have trouble with the focus there, the back end? Oh, I was just looking at the map and not Oh, focusing. Oh, you have to actually indicate that it should focus. Mm, well, I can put autofocus on, which I usually have when I'm okay. not doing it. But at I this see. moment, okay. I was paying attention to the cool. map overview. Sorry. No worries. Oh, it's uh, a little holothurian floating back. Sorry. Oh, Sweet. yeah. You can see our boat here. Uh, and I've just zoomed out so you can get a better context around what the train looks like surrounding. Um, we started down here and we followed this ridge feature up and then hung out a little bit on this sort of plateau uh, and then came up and it looks like this sort of steep area is this terracing that we are seeing here, this really beautiful kind of linear um, rock formation. And we're going to continue up this fairly steep area. So this may go on for a while. We may see a little bit different of a steep terrain, uh, maybe more cliffy, maybe more just like sedimented. Okay. It'll be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll see. Uh, but we're going to head straight up this slope, and then it'll level out above us around waypoint five. And wow. we will. This is a pretty crazy area of Bathymetry. Yeah, it looks it gets really steep right here and it gets even steeper sort mm. of around the bend from this where we are, uh -huh. uh, kind of on the other side. Um and yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna top out of this this really steep area and we're gonna sort of hug the edge at the top and then cross this little ravine and continue up a little bit less of a slopey uh, spot, but still quite steep. It's just a question of, you know, relative to this, which is really, really steep. What are we going to be looking at? Uh, and then we will end our dive up here at waypoint 10 at a depth of 1,497 meters. Uh, and then we'll bring the vehicles up. Uh, I believe around 8 a.m. is the plan currently. So that's right. Yeah, we're talking about uh, extending the dive till noon, um, but we'll see about what what Steve thinks when he gets in the van at the end of our watch, just because we're a bit behind and it's pretty interesting here. So Yeah, this definitely has seemed like a really yeah. interesting and dynamic area. Yeah, so we, we don't need to do any rushing um, because it is in the cards to extend if we want to, but I think what we're going to do is kind of bypass waypoint four and just work our way towards waypoint five from here. Roger. Um, watch lead. If you yes. are working on the sexton at any point, feel free to let me know and we'll put it up here so that I can frame up shots for you. Hey, cool, will do. Do What's you, up? if you want, we can keep it up there and I can put this over here since you don't really use You should thing. follow your heart. You don't mind? I don't mind it at all because uh, Lubeck can, can just let us know and yeah. we'll just pop it up. I don't. I don't do it all the time. I only do it for pretty shots. So yeah, totally. So okay. you don't need to leave it. So up and time. and when you're you've got brain space and everything. Yeah, and like maybe we're troubleshooting. Computers. So like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just give me a holler when you wanna Will when do. you wanna take some sexton shots and we'll we'll line them up properly. Sounds good. Because I did just discover that I like that over here a lot better. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. do whatever you I feel. I love how Herc looks in Argus right Those now. are your screens. Yeah. Feature. Yeah, but this is yours too. We share. <laughs> that's a great angle for me too. Oh, well then. That's well, what we'll, we'll do. <laughs> Remix. Okay. So, um, so let's see. So what is the direction of the next move? Uh, the direction of our next move is... Three five nine, almost. 
Due okay, north. let me see. Okay, almost due north. What do I need for that? Um, I'm just going to try and figure out what I'm going to need to s stay on the wall here. Roger. We might need to drop down to stay on the wall and do that as our next move. Uh, we will be sort of going directly into the slope here. Okay, move, not at awareness. this moment, though. We're not moving at this moment. No, I know, but if we go three, if we go due north right now, we'll be moving across the slope. Do just you, for now. Do just you prefer right to move? Just for this moment. Direct, okay. So I'm facing three, five, I'm facing almost due north and the slope is. Roger. Yeah, it's, it's totally cool. We'll just, that's just how it's gonna be until we get to where we're gonna be next. Yeah, I think we're gonna round this little dip. Yeah, sounds good. And then we'll be we'll going straight into it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it seems like Argus has some decent distance off the wall, so I can get, yeah, I think we're in good shape. Let's do the move. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cool. Are we feeling good about like 20 meter steps around? 20 meters knots? is fine for this. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Excellent. Bridge, Nav. Good morning, Alexi. Uh, could we step to zero meters bearing 359 at a speed of 0 0.2 knots? Can you come down a bit? That happened Thank very you. fast, yeah. Yes, it did. I said I had a 13 meter delta. I, I know, and then I dropped <laughs> down. I did that to you. That was all me. I was looking at the wire cam um, and thinking, man, I wish there was a light back there. I thought there used to be a light back there. Because there's the A-frame lights, and I wonder if oh, they maybe shine on it. Yeah, totally. That must be it. Yeah, the deck lights are So, out. Kylie, I'm going to be sort of a combination of 270 to 360 from you. Yeah. Um, yeah. While we do this, like, little traverse part. Sure. So feel free to come around. It won't disorient me. Okay, excellent. Love that. Ooh, sponge. Go for Zoom. Oh, that is on a stock. For Very a little bit, it looked rats. like it was free floating sponge. tugged for a little while here. I'm getting ahead of myself. No. Oh, it has a little face inside of it. What's that? The sponge looks like it has a face in its little pattern inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the man in the moon. Yeah. Too There's stretched another out. sponge in your um, brow cam coming into view in a second. Bubble cam. There it is. Oh yeah, Ooh. look at that. Maybe I'll have a bet. Oh, and there's one underneath me too. Oh, a Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, sponge. We've already, we've already highlighted the Aridogorgia in the last 15 minutes. And there's another sponge. A different type of sponge. Polyopagon? Yeah. Maybe. I'll go with Polyopagon. I just really like saying Polyopagon. It's <laughs> the really only sponge name I can too. remember because their names are all just very I think the very first spongy. time I tuned in to these was last year at the Polyopagon farm. 
<laughs> I think okay. that was Chris. I feel like I need more information. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not sure <laughs> whose watch it was. Uh, I'm going to assume it was Chris Kelly's, but they went down and just all of these polyopagon sponges everywhere. So someone called it a polyopagon uh, farm. <laughs> and I had no context because I had only just turned it on, and it was my first time turning it on. And so we had to go and look up what polyopagon was, and it has been our word of the day for months Many days. now. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time I was on Nautilus, there was a lot of sponge biologists in the chats, and I wish I remember all the names <laughs> that they were constantly saying, because I was like, oh, okay. But my favorite, there was like a moldy cheese sponge. Oh. Or something like a little that. wider. I'm going to try oh. and get a view right down the down the center and yeah. it's super tiny but like on the screen it looks so big Go in a little tighter. I don't see any associates in this sponge. He's barren inside. Unless they're hiding. Looks like it has like a curve to it, so it's probably hard. Oh, to that's a good point. Down. They might be inside. Maybe they just want some privacy. Yeah. <laughs> Are those fibers uh, kind of around its mouth, or do they cover the entire thing? Uh, they. It's probably what it's completely made up of, the spicules. Yeah. Spicules. Hmm. Can't see anyone in there. Okay, go wide. There's a little dude, though. A little what? There was a little floaty guy. Yeah, oh. a little shrimp or oh, something okay, was cool. floating nearby. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, is this a whip coral? Looks, I don't see any branching from Let's this angle. Let's go find out. I don't know. It almost looks like there's three branches very yeah, close together. Yeah, yeah I see Could three. Be a shadow or three branches. <laughs> I think there's three. Go for zoom. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there's more. Oh. Four, five, six, seven. That's an interesting way that that's branching out, yeah, too. Yeah, you can go, oh, and oh, little octa coral. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh wow, a whole little area here. Thanks video, that's really great. Perfect, and now I can just work my way up it. Ryan, that's awesome. Is it maybe pronoid? Because you don't see any nodes yeah. or cool. anything. Yeah. Thanks. You can go and It looked like all those branches were all coming off of the exact same spot. Mm -hmm. Did you need another shot of that to confirm? Uh, could, yeah. Could we, if you are able to? Yeah, absolutely. And then there is a worm or something. Just at the bar the branching point? Yeah. Okay. Go for zoom. Just go all the way in. Looks it, like it. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I would say so. Yeah. That, yeah, is that that's cool? Is that common? I feel like I haven't I seen so like many I've branches from the like same that, node. Yeah, but I'm not sure. It's kind of strange. Do you have what you need here? Yes. Okay, go wide. Can we look down to the left at the very edge of the screen? It's a little bit off now. Yes. So underneath. Oh, there's a fish. The cliff down here. Oh, it looks like a little something. A little spiral. Ooh. Spiral. Oh. oh. Acorn worm? Maybe. Maybe. Quite possible, considering like he has a sediment tube right next to him. 
and actively inside. It's pretty fun peering into these ledges. It is fun. Wow. Oh, but it's so dark in there. Look at look at the Argus shot. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. That's dramatic. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find a way to light it up so that we can... That kind I, of does it. It must be an acorn yeah. worm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Worm. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I love our like super customizable lights. <laughs> we would never have been able to get that sort of like forward lit situation with our lights before this season. Oh, so that's that looks good really to know. cool. Nice. The a lot of the senior pilots spent a long time obsessing about the lights over the last couple months. <laughs> like a lot, like a lot of time. Seems worth it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Is that a Holothurian down there? Go for zoom. Yes. Yes. OK, go wide. We have someone in the audience that like to know what causes corals to branch. That is a great question. Yes. I don't think I have an answer to. Mm -hmm. Let's um, do another. Sparse brancher. Oh. Sparse brancher. So that's kind of something I look into I with one of my corals because it is so. branching kind of weirdly. And so we call it a sparse brancher. <laughs> um, but Let's yeah, see. we're not really, I'm not sure myself. Um, but maybe someone else. Um, there's not going to be, if I get an answer too far ahead, I think I'm going to come off the, world. the wall. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, totally. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, out here, the we still don't like meet the wall quite yet, so we're good. It's not much to see. I mean, the dis the distance is good. Okay. Of course, there's loose rocks out here, <laughs> and we're no longer in the volcanic rock. <laughs> so oh. this isn't a volcanic area. What does that mean? What it, what's left for it to be? So, <laughs> good I'm question. pretty sure that it's sedimentary rock. I'm not quite sure if it's siltstone, mudstone, shale, turbidite, or any number of those, but I think this, this is a sedimentary accumulation type rock formation. Because these are very, very thin layers, just layered on top of each other like this, which is really, really commonly seen for shales. But that is a nice rock. Could we potentially get that rock that's to the right? Yeah. <laughs> just add to our rock collection, just to be sure. Yeah. Then we can break it open and we can see if... Um, we so probably need to is. keep moving. I'm pretty stretched out at this point. Okay. I'll let it Yeah. Let it go till you tell me we need to stop. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, I'm stretched out in this direction. Uh... Actually, let's move. I think we need to move 10 meters closer to the cliff to get it. Raj, are you okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come 10 meters 280. Uh, sure, sounds good. Okay. Bridge now. Um, that's actually a ginormous rock. Oh, and I don't think we can get that rock. So yes, that is fine. Sure, it looked. A lot smaller it's to me huge. than We're not gonna uh, get that, rock. <laughs> <laughs> that like is 50 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's fine. Sorry, we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. All right. <laughs> there's um, Bridge now. there's a few we're rocks right stick above with this move. Yeah, right oh, above yeah. it. So maybe yeah. one of those. If you want, we could go for one of those. If who wants? 
if you Amber, it's if, if you are you're, you're well, no, no, getting if, rocks for you. <laughs> <laughs> These are your if rocks. If we are able to without doing this one, yes, undo hardship on Herc. <laughs> it would uh, be nice. Herc can do whatever. It's <laughs> he depends. just can't have a 50, okay. 50 centimeter rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get this rock. Yes. Yeah. Let's let's We're move in it? 10 meters. Okay. Uh, 280. <laughs> Bridge now. Decision making. It's early morning. <laughs> so could we step one zero on meters it's bearing on my, uh, two seven zero? Word choices. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey, um, FYI, they have been leaving the blue light on the enchilada, so it's craft valve really only. Like as like right now it's on. Oh. Yeah, I kind of wanted to move anyways. We're a bit far off. Yeah. A little tight. Roger. Um, Kylie, yes, our dear. bearing is 270. 270. Raj. Thank you. Oh, yeah, is cryonide. that a cryonoid? believe so. It really looks right, like. Ooh, nice. That's yeah. Crinoid yellow. Crinoid yellow. Yes. <laughs> Color of the year. <laughs> really see where those little rock pieces kind of slid down. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel good about that step or do you want to come closer? Okay. Yeah. Bridge, now. Could we step? Five meters bearing two seven zero. Full move, like as hasn't translated yet. Where are we going to put this sample? Uh, s how about starboard B? Okay, sounds good. You got it. Can we um, zoom on this? Ooh, little jelly, too. Yes. Should I look at the jelly first? Sure. Okay. Why not? Keep in, keep, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think the jelly might be nice to look at, too. I think it will be excellent to look at. Go for zoom. Oh, is that a Tina 4, maybe? Ooh, mm. it looks like a Tina 4. Oh, oh, hello. My God. So oh. small. <gasps> oh, I love these with their little lights. Tina Turner 4. It's a little light bulb. Hello. It does look like a little light bulb. You're so it's tiny. It looks like it has yeah. little arms and legs. Mess with the, the lights at all? You can go for it. Yeah, Mess can with I? the lights. Yeah, do it. Can you imagine if that was your life? <laughs> no. It's like a great life. I can't imagine at all. I bet it's Floating relaxing. Around. It Hello. does look relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of blobbing around. <laughs> <laughs> blobbing around. Ooh, Ooh. This is dramatic. Wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Wow. That's a nice, beautiful, Ryan. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Where those teen rows go? <gasps> yes. Okay, go wide. That was beautiful. Cool. That was awesome. Yeah, nice job with the lights. Thank I liked you. that. Uh, 
Arcus is like just taking its sweet yeah. time. <laughs> the, let's just let it settle out. Okay. It's just starting to move. Because before you know it, we'll be yeah. way closer than we'd like. Yeah. I think I hacked the system over here. You hacked the system? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. We have um, someone in the audience asking uh, what sort yeah. of cable um, is used I don't, for the data I honestly transfer don't know. from Herc to the ship. And does um, but I think that we are in position to, to do this, data. maybe. Are you ready to do it as a flying grab? <coughs> That's a great question. But, um, Let's we might actually want to go tail to a moment Let's and then we'll feel get like back to very it. tuggy. I'll just turn off auto heading. Because Argus's move actually took us a bit past. I'll just turn off auto heading, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, yeah, that just means that it is truly going to be a flying grab. And I'm just going to come up a little on my delta because we're getting a little okay. heavy. Just a little, like the delta matters. Uh, if we're going to be tail two, the delta matters a little bit less. Yeah. Uh, okay. I okay. 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 Yeah. Ready? I do have blue light on. Okay. It's not going to work. You're right. You're right. It doesn't go that way. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um. Okay. We need the signaling lasers back here. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. You got it. Thank you. Which of these rocks are we going for, Science? Um, this one. OK. OK, Roger. Oh, oh wow. It's so fri friable. It's My gosh. Very Ooh. crumbly. I was not expecting that. Did you see how friable it was? Yeah. And once you grab this, we're going to pick up and scoot to a good location. Sorry. Turn your jaws 90 degrees. There you go. Well, I can't see. Uh, maybe a little bit further then. Can if you, you come at it from the top, you're always. Can you get me closer? Yep. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Good one. Okay. Nice. We're nice We're gonna grab. scram. Okay. And can you throw auto heading on when you get a chance? Yeah. Uh, data on. that is zero seven two. Zero seven three. Zero seven three. Roger. Cool. Can I take bubble? Yeah. We're gonna fly off into the abyss. Yep. Um, and I can actually, you don't need to come uh, up because I'm gonna go down. Because okay. we'll have to go down to meet the bottom anyways. Look at us meeting the bottom. <laughs> Hi bottom. Staring down into the abyss. What, uh, what's going to be the bearing of your next move, Nav? Um, we're going to stick with 359 okay. towards that next waypoint. Okay. 
I'll get us set up for that. Okie doke. Nice job, Kylie. I want to make I want to make these flying grabs our thing. Cool. <laughs> They're super fun. Are we going to be able to do a 360 sort of uh, video yeah. of the rock before we put it in? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm just going to get us uh, in a sort of good, stable setup. Roger that. Roger. <laughs> Dojo. <laughs> Dojo. <laughs> I mean, I'll just say Roge. Rouge. I feel like the natural next step is Roger Dodger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. This perspective in Argus is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, I'll come down with you. Uh, starboard B. We do. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And a little coral or uh, sea pen as well. It looks like it's on a hard surface, so probably a coral, if it is there. OK, video zoom. Wow. Look at that alteration. Oh. Oh, look at that look underside. At that. This will be quite interesting yeah. when we get it up to the lab. It does Ooh. not look like basalt. Mm -hmm. Slippery little guy. Oh. Okay, how's that for zooms, guys? Great. Good. Right we up might even have a little sponge come with them as well. Yeah, a tiny one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. All okay. right. Okay, come wide. I think I might consult my office mates, my sedimentary geologist office mates, and ask them about a few of these. A flick of the wrist. Yeah, thank you. Nice. nice. Really great job. Thanks. Awesome grab and stow. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Could we get a, a zoom on this stock sponge before we, we move out of here? Yeah, we're also going to have to 
Okay. Alrighty. I think it's. I'm gonna come off as. I'm not. It's now a good time to ask you all uh, about the cable used for the RLVs. What's the question? Uh, they've said, what sort of cable is used for the data transfer from the HERC to uh, Argus to the ship? Like, does it uh, take an immense power to transmit this data? Um, it's a 0.68 cable, it's like 0.68 six of an inch uh, thickness diameter cable, mm -hmm. and it's got three conductors in it um, that transfer ship power to Argus, um, and it has a um, tube, a stainless steel tube with uh, fibers in it that sends the telemetry, so like the, the video and um, then there's the soft tether, the umbilical between Argus and Herc, which um, works similarly but is not um, steel armored in the same way. Mm. Where do you, do you get the 6-8 cable like manufactured for the vehicle already or do you have to like modify a cable? when you get new cable? I'm not sure. I don't I don't know. Okay. I know it's one that like other ROV systems use. I don't know what brand it is. I forget what the company is. I think it's Rochester or that's yeah, Rochester. Rochester.
Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean more rocks? Yeah. Must mean more rocks. Have we ever um, been diving and found a plate from someone else? I've seen album stacks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen plates a few times. That's cool. I've even seen, like, uh, footprints. I guess, I don't know how you would call it, but, like, where, where an ROV has sat down. Oh, yeah, like little butt prints. Good for yeah. craft bound. <laughs> You want me to hit craft valve for you? So not okay. only does dropping the plate, you know, releases weight from the ROV, but is it also like a land marker onto the ocean floor? Uh, no, it's really just for weight. Oh, but okay. we have, um, so, some sometimes when people are trying to get back to a specific location, mm -hmm. then, um, then there can be markers that we leave on the seafloor. Mm -hmm. with a number and a location. That's a great question. Um, shall we step up this little bit? Could we take a zoom on this stock sponge before we before we keep moving? Ooh, and there's a floating holothurian that'll pass by the sponge oh, in a yeah. second. Nice. Oh, and another holothurian. Ooh, oh, and a shrimp. <laughs> it's a very vibrant shrimp. <laughs> Photo bombing oh. shrimp. Some, some monbai, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> So two Holothurians floating by. Go for Zoom. I feel like, um, I like this when it's very misty, like when there's a lot of sediment, like the fewer lights we can have on, yeah. the better off we're going to be. Yeah, that works great. Can we do that again? <laughs> nice. Actually, there were a few watches ago, um, one of our scientists ashore was talking about how great it is to bring, I think it was UV lights for looking at sponges. Oh, really? Yeah, you said that there was a cruise at one point that did that with a different ROV and was wondering cool. if we would ever do that with ours, and I had no I idea. I don't see any reason why not. Yeah. We just need to get our hands on the lights. Oh, and there's an amphipod inside. Yeah, Ooh. there is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> does it make them, like, glow? Yeah, it does. Some of them fluoresce, apparently. Whoa, that's very cool. Yeah. Changing this lighting just kind of made me think of that. Nice. Okay, go wide. 
Great. All right, we can continue okay. up our cliff here. All right, let's mosey on. Bridge now. Could we step to zero meters bearing 359? Ooh, there's a coral. Oh yeah. About how much does each of those plates weigh? Ooh, good question. 16 pounds in water, 16, I believe. Does that 10. sound right? I think so, yes. Tw 20 in, in air? Is that right? It, uh, just about infinity for the moment when you have to pass them from the crane hold. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they change weight. <me. laughs> it's pretty amazing technology. It's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> when we built the mooring for the USB Cal at the beginning of the cruise, each one was 400 pounds. Yeah, yeah. it was so <laughs> heavy. I was just like, Ooh. am I weak? Can we get a zoom on this, this coral here? Oh, and then there's a sponge in the sediment maybe underneath? Looks like some something rolled There's down. There's quite a bit of current just like ripping up this cliff here. Oh, really? Yeah, a little like bit. lifting or? Yeah, lifting. Interesting. Hmm. Um, Surprising we're not seeing more life on, on these. I guess maybe if the sediment is kind of falling down, it's maybe not the best spot. Go for zoom. Maybe it wasn't current. Maybe it was just my buoyancy control. I have no idea nice. anymore. Do you have what you need here? Do you want to get closer for like polyps or something? Can we get a little closer? Sure. It almost nice. looks like it's something growing over, like zoanth that's growing over something. Yeah. Can we see the base? Yeah. Hmm. Strange. Okay. I think we're good with that. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, octocoral? What? Oh. No, no, sorry. It's one of the umbalalalos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yes, that. The things that you think are going to be cryonoids and then they turn out to be corals. They turn out to be <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Roomba. <laughs> Roomba. Doesn't get I mean, this is our get confirmation old. that the current is coming up the slope, right? Wind, wind blown polyps. <laughs> <laughs> That's ready for your close up, huh? Yeah, the wind blown? Yeah. Absolutely. That's, That's gorgeous. The first step. Okay, go ahead. Wow. I, I'll have to keep that in mind when I set up for these because like, I just end up getting blown right into the face. Into the breeze. Of the cliff. Which isn't as bad as it sounds, it just makes everything very cloudy. I think flow would have been very useful for times like these for determining the Ex current the direction. What would have been? I think that was what they named it oh, on the, the last cruise. Dan's that, creepy uh, creature. Yes. <laughs> With the magnet. Yeah. <laughs> that I think was He's originally been a rake. putting that on there. It's too weird. I thought it was <laughs> on the arm. No, I took it off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. No. <laughs> oh. You might be alone in that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's real weird. And it's just always right there, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it is Ooh. pan left. Boom. There it is. Can we these get a zoom? These are so amazing. So weird. I love these. 
Go for zoom. Oh, wow. Mm. Just so strange. Mm -hmm. The colors are beautiful. Can you try changing your lights again? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, I like that. Weird. Nice contrast. Wow. Hello. Where the are nice you going? thing about shooting these is that you don't have to do anything. Oh my like, God. Like <laughs> How beautiful. Oh. Wow. What do we call this again? A uh, nice. holothurian. Uh, There's so many different ones. Job, yeah, there are many <laughs> different ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just like the very broad grouping Hello. term. Yes. <laughs> So this do they favorite dance move. Well, moving. this is my uh, favorite. Yeah, okay. I like what? this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's cool. <laughs> do like holothurians like? How do they sense their environment? Like, do they have? They're like they don't have eyes, right? Tentacle type thing. So oh, they so touch like, stuff by touch. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a mouth. Yes. <laughs> they have. <laughs> They have a mouth. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Welcome, Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you for tuning in. We were told we didn't need to rush, so. <laughs> Honestly, how many sea cucumbers do we actually need to zoom on? All like, of we've them? seen <laughs> most sea cucumbers. <laughs> but how will in we the name know? of science, I think all of them. If we don't zoom, we'll never know if it's a new sea cucumber. <laughs> Especially <laughs> since there is now another one, along with a potentially a Ooh. sea urchin. See, so there's we should always zoom gonna again. Be, there's always going to be something more to zoom on, like this little floaty guy. Go for zoom. Floaty guy. And so sometimes Ooh. I need to be kept on track. Is, is that a jelly? jelly? Oh, so. jelly is oh, it's a really and a holothurian. Floaty guy yeah, but we're done with oh. holothurians. We're giving them a break. Oh, <laughs> I need it's something new. Like <laughs> I need a new hobby. <laughs> oh, and look, an urchin. It looks like That's a long spine. That's also an acceptable hobby. This friend looks like a little top hat. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like the Hamburglar. Oh, oh my gosh. Also sort of like a cartoon, like a cute cartoon Darth Vader. Okay, go on. <laughs> I like that one. Yes. <laughs> a cartoon Darth Vader. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, goodness. Slightly like oh my. my current haircut. <laughs> <laughs> There's just some urchins we can look at here. Yeah. Is that a coral or a sponge up on the rock? Where? Um, right, oh. right over here. What about the urchin? The urchin also <laughs> is of interest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check them both Go out. Zoom. <laughs> Why not both? Hard work We're getting cheers. ahead of ourselves over here. <laughs> I know, you guys were just, you were making plans. See a little bit sediment covered? Looks like it. There's another little jelly that's casting like three shadows. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is, oh my goodness. Oh, he, that's I really think, cute. I think it got stung maybe. He got poked and he didn't yeah. like it. <laughs> poor, poor little one. Are you I all the way wide video? I bubble. I'm going to go find this sponge. It's so steep. It's amazing. Actually, Nav, could you calculate how, like, what our incline is? Oh, yeah, I was looking at that. Um. Is that a branching sponge? Maybe. And a it does shrimp? Look like it. Go for Sparsely zoom. branched sponge. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what it's come to? <laughs> <laughs> Everything Indeed. can be sparsely branched. <laughs> it's an alternative punk band. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. That is very strange. I haven't seen one of these before. 
with an extra arm. Oh, this might be like the, we were seeing these like cabbagey and Brussels sprouty ones. The cabbagey ones are for Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of uh -huh. course. Four times a cabbage? <laughs> My legacy lives on. <laughs> <laughs> Last year it was crepes. Oh, really? Oh. This year it's, oh my gosh, I had to stop when I came on the ship this time. I said, Yeah, just no more crepes. I've only had them once this whole trip. Oh. Well, I was having them every other day, like stacks of, like stack, stacks on stacks. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, it was rough. Okay, go wide. <laughs> At least cabbage is a vegetable. So, <laughs> science... Crepes are a vegetable. Yes. <laughs> I had to double check this because I didn't believe my own math, but this is a 97% slope. This is a what? slopey Ooh. slope, slope, slope. Oh, is that possible? Wow. It's just slopey. <laughs> it's like as slopey as it could be slopey. It's just a wall in the middle of the ocean. Can you not have a 97% slope? That's not possible. I mean, that's that's <laughs> so far outside the the angle of repro repos. <laughs> Actually, Google says. <laughs> Can we zoom on the coral? <laughs> Wait, where is it? It's out of view now, but it was over here to the yeah. left. But that also might be the same type, if it is one I at all. I think also passed over a sea pen. A sea pen. And then another fanny coral. Um. <laughs> Wait, hey, pilots, can we zoom it on a coral? Yeah. Off to the left. I got you. It's just off to the left, or the port side. We might be going over it now. Also, um, Nav, what direction are we going to be going? Uh, we're going to stick with the 359, and I was just going to get ready to call in another step here. Um, Where is this coral? Mm, I what think it's mean? just below Hold on. Okay. The, the sextant, or the 4K. I, I just want to ask Gabby something after the zoom yeah, be what's before up? we move. Um, hold on. I just want to come up on my Delta. Oh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it either. That's I'm okay. sorry. It was no the worries. percent grade conversation I that like <laughs> derailed me. Because <laughs> I, like, I get in no this worries. place going over mountain passes where I'm like, okay, they're telling me this is 8% grade, but I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I hear you. It, like 16% grade is like, I shouldn't drive on this. Yeah. This is too <laughs> steep for my car. Yeah. But I guess it's not too steep for my ROV, so. I think it's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll continue Here's a coral. to Google. No, no, we'll get to I, the I, you're you're the geologist. I mean, I, I trust you. <laughs> That's the back row. <laughs> is that a whip or is that a sea pen? What's uh, I think what's it's a, a whip? I think I think we're good for the move. I was freaked out for it a looks second. Be at the I was okay. like, it's gonna put me right into the face of the thing. But I know we're coming up. Yeah, the inside. way that we were, I was like, I ain't got much to give. Yeah, um, because totally. I, I was like. Yeah. Uh, I uh, well, think that I will hit it first, and not. And by hit it, I mean not hit it so first. I'll, I'll have to like come up way, like basically a lot. Yeah, but I'll also come up, so it'll be good. I know, but I'll have to. I'll have to. I will have to be above you. Yes. <laughs> so I'll have to That's, run. Up your terms way. are acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I just must be above you. I got freaked out. <laughs> I'm scared, <laughs> really, that I was gonna be in the in the mountain. We could okay. also we can step at more of an angle if you're worried about swinging us in too far into the slope. That's an option as well. So uh, next move, you want to do 20 meters at 3.59. Three, yeah. Um, are you okay with that? Okay, me too. Okay, let's do we'll it. We'll do that. We'll just come up until Bridge you know. Here. Yeah, and I'll come up with you. I mean, could we step two zero meters bearing three five nine? Thank you. 
Polytherian, but I know we're not allowed to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Control no, yourself. I didn't mean to cramp your science and style. I just, I felt fine. like I was personally getting carried away. <laughs> oh, and there's one of these little critters that buries itself too. Oh, I like them. Ooh. I know I like it. them too. We'll take a look. Yeah, we want that one. I, I really just, that was a personal limitation, Mary. <laughs> like I really felt I was, as if I was getting carried away. Gabby put herself in timeout. <laughs> she can't, can't for all the can't zoom. keep zooming on these. We're gonna run out. Go for zoom. <laughs> We're gonna run out. We're gonna see them all. Oh, I like these. These, these are, are the little lobsters. What yeah, are that bury yeah, themselves. Little blind lobsters. So that cute. Are 10 Look at his heads in the sand. So relatable. Like, I just want to be there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so our 97 percent. Uh, okay, go ahead. Grade. Grade is the same as a 45 degree yes. slope. Yes, 100% 100, 100 is. is 45. Yeah. It's the angle measure, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. 100 is 45. It's one to one. Is, yeah, 100% 100 is 45 degrees. So that is what I was thinking of. But what if you had, but if like you had 97 degrees, it would actually be 1,000%. Ooh. Or Ooh. close to it. That's yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah what? Wait, Cause but it's percentages are out of 1,000. <laughs> right, because you'd have like a very big rise a very small run so the division would be like the number would be very very big mm -hmm. and then you'd multiply that by 100. Can you have a 97? You, yeah if you're looking at something like yeah wouldn't that be like almost a 100 percent cliff face. Sheer, yeah you can't have a 97 degree you can't have an angle that is that 97 it's, degrees it wouldn't no, have an interior triangle angle. Can we zoom over to the left? Yeah what was that? There was some sort of right coral there. looking thing <laughs> or I think it's Oobaloo. an umbelula. Yeah. Yep. And did we knock around some of this sediment, or is it really just coming at us a little bit and making it murkier? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to which of those? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Go for Zoom. I'm sorry, I actually don't know the answer to your question. All right. It might also have been on us from before and kind of yeah. coming off of the vehicle now. These are so pretty. Yeah, I like these. Gabby's so good at like identifying them by name. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm, I'm telling you, it's all the Latin. Just at the sheer glance of it, you're like, okay, yes. go wide. I just I would have called that an octocoral. See, that's where we're at. That's <laughs> it. Looks a lot like an octocoral on a stock. Because it is an octocoral. Oct is it an octocoral? Like, yeah, like it's a pen. It is. Yeah. That's just like a broader grouping of. Like classification. Oh, I said something so, right. Oomba Loomba Octocoral. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Oomba Loomba Octocoral. First name Oomba Loomba, last name Octocoral. <laughs> yeah, that Latin has done you well. Yeah, it really did. It was fun too. Can you speak Latin? Um, I can read it. Wow, yeah. that's remarkable. I mean, I could, I could read it. Do you ever like? Do, do you read it? Do I ever do what? Do you? Um, do you read? Not these days. Did you, do you have a favorite book in Latin? Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. Like, you read a lot of Ovid and Virgil when you, mm. like. Who are Ovid and Virgil? <laughs> They're uh, Roman poets. Oh, cool. Okay. Like, Virgil wrote the Aeneid, okay. and Ovid wrote Metamorphoses. And did you read any uh, Catullus? You just, what's that? Did you read any Catullus? I did not read any Catullus or, yeah, I guess I didn't somehow. Um, it's just a lot of Virgil and a lot of like analysis of like Roman ideals of the hero and stuff like that. It's very cool. I liked it. Um, and they're like Virgil was like an incredible artist. Like his poetry is amazing. You can pull it apart for days. Years, I did. Ooh, I fish off to the right. <coughs> okay, I guess the answer to your question earlier, Amber, was that that was from the vehicle. Go for zoom. Ah, okay. Oh. This one looks like maybe they're sleeping. He's going to wake up in a new town. Oh, well, he's drifting <laughs> like that. Going with the current. Hopefully mm -hmm. that new town has a new grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's where he's going, oh, is the grocery oh. store. Woken up. Oh, no. 
Oh no, another one of these alien spaceships. The <laughs> <laughs> are so noisy. Waking up my, my sleep. <laughs> Wish they would turn off the street lights. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, sorry, Get bud. Get me out of here. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Okay, go on. Uh, are we ready to to cruise some more? Yeah. yeah feel let's, good? Let's How do you feel? Doctor, Keep feel going. good. Yeah. Cool. Bridge, now. <clears throat> Back we got with some rocks. rocks. <laughs> Could we step two zero meters bearing three five nine? Wow. And you could probably come up too. You got it. And I can drop back even and do more looking around. Got a very healthy lead here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it was working. It was working for us. It was. But now I want to look at more stuff. Place your bets. What do you think we'll see? Shrimp? I'm going shrimp. I'm going with Umbalula. I'm going Holothurian. Well, that's a given. <laughs> <laughs> that's a safe bet. I'm going to do some wishful thinking and say some jellies. Oh, Ooh. yeah. The jellies have been good. What sort of megafauna lives at, at this depth? Does anyone know? Well, the beaked whales come down here. They come down? Re uh, well, they did. We saw scoops of beaked whales, not on this dive, but Sorry, on beaked, beaked whales? previous dives, we were seeing the scoops at like 3,000 meters, right? Oh, wow. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, like just really cool. super crazy depths. They really go for it. Yeah. Could you imagine if we had like gone into this canyon and there was just like a like a town meeting of beaked whales. <laughs> <laughs> a town I feel like it would be more like like an underground like rebellion meeting. Yeah, yeah Steve. Like the town meetings happen at the like surface Mad of the Max, sunlight. But yeah, <laughs> totally in the cave. They're like, oh my goodness. they cave don't brave. have as ma many water problems. And then we but show up and they're like, oh God, like you're here. <laughs> we knew it. <laughs> what other megafauna lives down here? Are there like any deep, any sharks that go really deep? I, I think they sharks. are, but I don't know how sleeper deep sharks. they go. That sounds scary. I think even white sharks will actually go down pretty deep. Okay. I know sperm whales travel really deep, but I don't know if they're in this part of the world. How deep is the SOFAR channel? It's very far. Oh, it's a thousand meters. It's a thousand so meters. far so away. <laughs> I was like, uh, I heard I mean, it in I my head it's differently. It's so far. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a thousand meters depth, approximately. Okay. Is, is it, it the there's, same it's a place range. everywhere in the ocean? I'm not sure. All I know is it's a. Can you explain yeah. the so far channel oh, wow. to, well, to me, our um, listeners? Yeah, give me because just it one is moment. A, a lesson in sound. It is so delightful. The I so love that channel, this exists. If I was going to get a PhD, I think it would It'd probably be in, be in the so far channel. Yeah. It's really something that I think is cool. It is cool. Uh, so it's so far is short for a sound fixing and ranging channel. Uh, and it's a horizontal layer of water in the ocean where the speed of sound is at its minimum. Um, and according to Google, it's between, or it's at 1,000 meters or 3,300 feet. Kylie, you I did a project it. on it. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> so you should be explaining. <laughs> um, my understanding of the SOFAR channel is that there is a sort of a density barrier on either side that traps sound within it. Yeah. And like whales can use it to sing to each other across incredibly long distances mm. and Countries will use it to monitor uh, nuclear activity. They can mm -hmm. like put hydrophones in it and listen. And if something's going on like halfway around the world, they can actually hear whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. I just like to think about lonely whales singing to each other <laughs> over a long distance. Yeah. Like even whales have long distance relationships. <laughs> Again, <That's> so relatable. <laughs> We have a question in the chat. Um, they'd like to know what jobs and areas of research did you guys consider before you settled into your current role? This is a person considering going into science at the university. Can we also zoom on um, on this? The old yeah. dead sponge. I studied glaciers and ice sheets before I came oh, here. Oh, no way. Ooh, yeah, totally. Really cool. 
Go for Zoom. Just been keeping that cool card in your back pocket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that <laughs> two weeks? Is I that didn't hear news? anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted Golly. to do glaciology <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Thanks. I like okay, applied to a PhD program for glaciology, and then I was like, meh. Oh, I definitely did too. Um, <laughs> weirdly, so I applied to a lot of PhD programs for glaciology, and I applied to one uh, degree program. Ooh, that's cool for um, ocean engineering. I did not have an engineering background. I had not taken any math since high school. I did not get into any of the glaciology programs, but I sure did get into engineering school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Go for Zoom. Love that. I yeah. didn't know that. That's. Yeah, that's wow. sort of how it went down. Like if I had gotten Ooh. into uh, glaciology grad school, I would be doing that and not this. You wouldn't be here right now with us. Okay, what, what is are this? you? This, this thing so is wild. Weird. Ah, wow. that is the question. Uh, it's got eight. Might be. Oh, there's a crab under it or a squat Sp lobster? A shrimp? Oh, is Maybe. it a carrier crab then with an anemone? Nice on catch, Ryan. It could be. That was lovely. It could be a carrier crab that has an anemone on top of it. Oh. It's a big Okay, backpack. but is that an anemone? I. It might be a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's I definitely know. that. I know that they saw a carrier crab that had something on its back that okay. looked like Go this. Away during Immel's watch. Do you have oh. all the data you need here? Or Steve's watch. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. All right, are we good to step up further, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm good. Right. Oh, wow. Bridge, now. Is that a sponge sticking up off that rock? Could we step two zero yeah, meters be bearing coral. 359? Oh, yes, uh, coral, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to tell from here. I know. And especially with our lights, like giving everything about three shadows. And to me, you can't tell whether it's one wow. or three things. Can, can we get same. a zoom yeah. on this rock right in front of us? Yeah, go um, for zoom. Yeah, like here. And okay. That's a really good question, Brandy, about what uh, go for zoom. things that we thought we might do. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought I was going to be a triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> Nia, what were you going to say? Okay, what thank you. you uh, when I w originally went to college, I had big dreams of being an un underwater videographer and documentary maker. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I, I have a film minor. Um, no kidding. Yeah. Again, with the bombs <laughs> getting dropped. Stop <laughs> 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 it. <laughs> um, but then I... Uh, I, I was pursuing marine biology, and, and then I was kind of like, I just want to live on boats. And I had this, like, big dreams of sort of just being, like, scuba diving all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, you know, being, like, a science diver or just going somewhere tropical and scuba diving. Uh, and then I was, I met a professor at the College of Charleston who runs the program that I ended up doing, the MEMS program. And she was like, yeah, you sure can work on boats all the time. Uh, but you sure won't be a marine biologist. And I was like, okay. Geology seems like a good vibe. Yeah. <laughs> passes the vibe check. And honestly, geology passes Go every on. vibe check. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I did notice that Yeah. about it's geology. Yeah. Geologists are always really chillin' compared to the other scientists. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's right. <laughs> What'd you say? They always seem so relaxed when I meet them. Yeah. Is that a crazy down, a, a down to earth? skill thing? <laughs> oh, wow. I saw what you did you there. <laughs> you are welcome. Oh, I, but did you call your program the memes program? Beams. Oh, sorry. Benzic okay. acoustic mapping and sonar. <laughs> I wish we were the memes question. program. <laughs> Go for right uh, I think possibly. geologists, we live on a geologic time scale, so we're just not in a hurry. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I love that. <laughs> Chris and nice. Your metabolism is super Beautiful. slow. Yeah. <laughs> are you very giant? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's the size of the Earth, right? What have we here? Science? Chrysogorgid. Yeah. Chrysogorgid? A very small cherry blossom tree. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's springtime. Okay, go ahead. Look at, look at the Argus, and a crinoid. Argus view with our rock formation. For a moment, I was thinking things were transitioning a bit here. I keep to thinking tell. that, and then, and then I, and I then keep we look and then I, I, I know, right? I keep Ooh, doing the same. Sponge. Kylie, what were you going to study again? Is that sponge on the oh, Before you, like, accidentally found yourself in marine I, tech? It was accidental. Um, oh. 
initially, like a ni like for real, like when I Might first enrolled in school, I thought it was going to be um, a cultural anthropologist. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. I actually That'd took a really class cool. on that as well. I, I thought about anthropology also. I thought yeah. about a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's what, as, as one does. As one does. At, at that we age. Um, and oh, then can we get a zoom on this? Is this a crinoid here? Yeah. Nice. Uh, and there's something in the, the sediment behind it as well. Maybe? Or is that just a rock? OK, go for zoom. It's just a rock. Nice. Long stock. Cool. Thank you. OK. Go ahead. So when I did ever, so I stopped going to school, and then a few years later, I went back to school. Um, and when I went back, I was like, I, I just needed to have like a safe bet. A sponge. Ooh, stock yes. sponge. Stocked sponge. <laughs> <laughs> and is that a, it. there's two other corals behind it? So maybe oh, some, some stocks back there? Oh, yeah. Ooh. One of them looks a little bit interesting, the one to the further right. I really like looking at sponges. Mm. Glass sponges are cool. They're very cool. I like cool. these stocked ones. Yeah, yes. they're 